Hi everyone. Today we'll have a look at some telephones from Belgium. I first encountered these, well, this particular model, when on a trip to the continent many years ago and they were still in use then. This must have been in the 1960s I would think. I know I drove over there, had a very enjoyable time, started many trips to the continent. Anyhow, let's get back to what we we're trying to talk about. What we're looking at is a RTT 56, sometimes called a kettle phone because it's got a handle I suppose. Um, they were made out of metal with the plastic handset, uh, this being the correct handset for, for this model. There was two types of handsets I'll explain. The other one was like that one you see on that telephone. We'll come back to that. Um, <clears throat> these as I say were made for the, uh, the Belgium state company RTT and that's what we see on the little label at the front. Now interestingly enough a lot of these phones have appeared on eBay with unfortunately wrong handsets. A lot of them show handsets which are from France. Why France? I don't know but they were definitely the French style of handset. With these there are only the two types. There's the the American type the Western Electric or the one that I showed earlier. These phones were also made to look like copper which is another con. They were they would strip off the original paint and either dip them or copper plate them and many people thought they were solid comp solid copper but they weren't so any that you see with copper are have been added they've done this to other phones as well I know but no they should should be either black white or colored version this one we're looking at now is in color um, obviously it's been renovated let's have a closer look as I say oh yeah before I do these are called RTT 56. 56 referred to 1956 when they were first introduced. 1956. Now the ones the there was two numbers or two letters. RTT 56A was made by ATEA which was a branch of Automatic Electric and the RTT 56B was made by Bell. Um, there was the, these are two companies that were asked to provide a phone to be used in Belgium and they appear to be quite successful. We'll add they're quite heavy. They're not a lightweight by any imagination take that off and have a little look at what's on the side there they've got I think it's called a decal which has got Bell Telephone Manufacturing Company whether that was added after I don't know they they would have had that on and the brass which is brass handle at the back <coughs> is no name. Looking underneath, oh, excuse the label on, on there, that's the only thing that's on there. I noticed that was on there. I don't know if this firm's in existence still. I don't even know if they're in England or America, but that's the label I had on there. This is the typical underside. Normally you'd have RTT 56 but not in this case it's obviously been removed I won't open it up 
<clears throat> but as I say, these are fairly, they were fairly popular. Uh, not what I would call a rare phone, but a lot of people had them. They were nice and small, fairly compact, had nice dials to them. This one's fitted with an earth button. Not all, not all of them had earth buttons, but this example did. Anyhow, that's what happened. This is what the RT56 was. Um, now, they were carried on from the 50 stroke 51 of the late 30s by ATEA and I've got one of those I've got two of those let's bring them to the fore they are quite heavy as I said before here we have two phones of the 5051 now with the earth button which we've got here This will have been a 51, made by, as I say, ATEA. Turn him around. You've got the sticker there. Automatic electric, which as I said was a branch of Automatic Electric of America, founded by Strouger. A bit of history there. Funny enough, another little story, I used to work for uh, the GPO in a telephone exchange and we had an open day, I don't know if anyone else can remember that, we, we'd done open day where we invited the general public in to have a look round the exchange. Anyhow, on this particular day I was showing someone round and I told them a little story about how uh, how Alwyn B. Strouger was an undertaker and he was losing trade by a wife who was also at that time working on their local switchboard. This was in I believe Kansas and um, if anyone wanted an undertaker she would automatically put the phone call through to her husband. Thus, Strouger would lose business. So the story is, it's not a story, it's true. Um, Strouger decided to invent or make an automatic switch and he invented the step-by-step -step switch which he demonstrated, I believe, using a top hat showing sets of contacts and the wipers. So that's how that story started. Anyhow, I was greeted by someone else who I worked with at the GPO making fun of me saying, oh that's a tall story, but fortunately the governor at the time stood up for me and said, no, no, he's quite right. So it put him in his place. I might add here that I don't think I was liked very much in GPO. I, was, I don't know why, I think it's prob probably because I, they probably thought I knew too much. Anyhow, no problem. Now that was the one with the earth button. 51. And these were the late 30s by ATEE. Now the other one is this one here, which has got the correct handset. This is the correct handset by ATEA. Bell used this type of handset. So in theory, this phone's got the wrong handset. But if I saw a um, phone being sold on eBay at the right price of that style with this handset, I'd be tempted to buy it so that I could swap the handset on the new one to put on here 
and take this handset off to place on this style phone. It's all to do with uh, timing. These are say a lot of people tinkered about with these. I'm assuming they're the right dials. I think they are. This looks a fairly old style. And the other ones, as, as I pointed out, has not got an earth button. And that would be called a number 50. And also added to the fact that they do not have a carrying handle. The carrying handle was added as an extra on this version. Turn this one round. The label can partly be seen. Obviously an A-T-E-A. Underneath, nothing at all. I don't think this one's got anything under there either. No. So there would be basically the same chassis. And the added thing was the carrying handle. So these two in the front were from the 1930s. Rarer than this type. These ones you just don't see. Having said that, one will probably appear on eBay. That's the way it goes. You know, I hope it does. If it's the right price, I might snap it up. Anyhow, I think that has covered all I'm going to say about that. Um, these were used in Belgium on my little tour around Belgium in the in the 60s in my little minivan. I like that little minivan, I really do. Um, long since gone. Um, I first saw this phone there. Or that one. The one I saw was in black, which is the normal colour. So anyhow, I'm going to stop jabbering on and put this up and any comments please make and thank you all for having a look thank you again thank you